Hey everybody, so today we're gonna to do something a little bit different. So this is my garage and behind me is a blank slate or a blank canvas, if you will. And we are going to attempt to throw 12 bikes. I have 12 bike racks right here from Steady Rack. We're gonna throw 12 bikes on the wall. I ended up going with Steady Rack because a few weeks ago I posted on my Instagram account what was the best wall storage bike solution out there. And I'd say nine out of 10 of you all recommended Steady Rack. So I went with Steady Rack. I have two fat bike racks, and then the rest of them are mountain bike racks, which should be able to fit uh, gravel bikes uh, and mountain bikes, I think up to either 2.8 or three inch tires. So what I've done already was I've removed a bunch of shelves that were already on the wall. I spackled it, and then I had to paint it because it was unfinished already. Uh, so I painted it just basically a similar white to the whole garage, just so it didn't uh, clash, I guess. So what I wanna start with is throwing the fat tire bike racks at the end. So in the winter, when they come into the garage, I'll be able to easily squeegee the water out of the garage instead of it being all the way down here. All right, so what we're gonna do now is just take a look at the racks, install them, and uh, I'll just report back on how it all went. All right, so before I jump into these racks behind me, I just wanted to let you all know that this video is supported in part by Surly Bikes. Surly makes serious steel bikes for people that don't take themselves too seriously. They make bikes that are versatile and durable that can be dressed up or down for commuting, bike packing, ATBing, gravel grinding, or really whatever you call fun on two wheels. With 15 original dirt friendly platforms, they offer something that fits just about anyone for any style of riding. So for more details about Surly, you can click this card right here, and I also have a link in the description below. So before I ordered the racks, I just wanted to figure out the spacing I was gonna go with, and what I decided was I was going to set each rack 16 inches apart, which happens to be the stud width in my garage here. And I think it all worked out pretty well. I for sure could have used maybe a few more inches in between each bike, but I really wanted to stick to the studs as they have the ability to hold a little bit more weight. And if I wanted to throw, say, a bike packing rig up on the wall, I can easily do that. But the 16 inches still gives me plenty of space to rotate through the bikes and actually use Steady Rack as it was intended. So the install process, it was actually really darn easy. You do need some basic tools like a drill, uh, drill bits, a level that might not be something you have. I ended up borrowing one uh, and a tape measure. There's a really good video on Steady Rack's YouTube channel uh, that will help guide you through the install process and I highly recommend watching that before installing. I would say the hardest part of the process is figuring out where to mount the racks so that you can page through the bikes without too much interference. This is one thing I may change down the road, but I ended up keeping all of the racks pretty low, so they're not too staggered, but you can definitely see they are staggered. I did this so that I didn't have to lift them up, but rather I can roll the bike into each rack. Steady Rack recommends mounting each rack based on specific bikes, and I did that for the most part, but also know that there are some bikes back here that I currently won't have in a year, and I also get a handful of bikes in for review that I definitely wanna hang up here. Uh, so I ended up mounting those a little bit higher just to compensate for a variety of wheelbases. So because of that, I do think if Steady Rack added some sort of a sliding system where the rack itself could slide up or down three or six inches, that way you don't necessarily need to put new holes in your wall. But by using these rear wheel holders that are all mounted at the bottom, it does give you a wider range when rotating, which is super nice. Plus it doesn't scuff up your nice white walls. I was actually thinking about adding some sort of um, wood paneling at the bottom just to protect the wall, but the rear wheel holders are actually a pretty integral part of the rack. So I wanted to keep our bikes here in the garage a little bit organized because I like organization a little bit at least. So the drop bar bikes are down here and the flat bar bikes are over here. And I think it actually worked out pretty well as far as staggering and everything like that. So I lean the drop bars all the way to the left and then in the middle it straightens out and all the flat bars are all the way kind of staggered to the right. This really helps when we just want to remove bikes, having this center space kind of separate each side. So speaking of different tire sizes, the mountain bike rack, the MTB rack, worked really well all together. They fit 2.8 inch tires, 
Um, but from time to time, I do notice the 2.8 inch tires with some really beefy side knobs. They do get stuck. But if you have a tire like say the WTB Ranger 3.0, that would definitely fit in these racks. So on the skinny side of things, if you know you might be using these racks for both mountain and gravel sized tires, going with the mountain specific rack over the classic is probably a wise decision. The gravel wheels and tires fit just fine. There's a little bit of play in them, but they still work really well. And the fat tire bike racks work great. They fit both 27.5 by four and my 26 by 4.8 inch wheels with no issues. So after using the racks for about a week now, I'm really happy with how this whole system has worked out. It's super easy to roll the bikes into the rack, maybe a little bit more difficult to remove some bikes that have maybe a beefier knob tires, but rotating them has allowed me to put fewer bikes in a smaller space, which has created so much more space in my garage. I just can dance. I can dance all day. Well, I have yet to test many other systems besides, uh, you know, those garage hooks. I like the fact that you can rotate the bikes in both directions, install the bike with ease, and when you're not using them, you can fold them up to make more space for other bikes around. Steady Rack is not cheap by any means, but you pay for what you get. For my research, they offer the widest range of rotation. They're sturdy and steady while also being able to hold a fully loaded bike. Plus they also come with a five year warranty and they really tie the garage together, make it organized, helping me create more space for other things here. Once I'm finished, maybe I'll do another video on the whole garage and all of the organization. I still have a little bit to do, but I'd love to open it up to you all. What is your go-to bike solution for your garage, inside your house, for smaller areas, for bigger areas? Let us know in the comments section below. As always, thank you all so much for watching, and until next time, pedal further.